and boom, we're in. Let's go to the big, big game. I don't know why anybody want to see this, but how's it going? So here we are in second day, fourth video, maybe. Hope you guys are having a great time. We're going to get back into the tutorial today. We're going to be trying to get all the way to our next lake because that's where the fun really starts. The first two lakes, you got a lot to do. You can get to different, lots of different fish on those two. You can focus on those, but we're going to try and get to the next lake because that opens up even more possibilities. Uh, you could literally be on the first three lakes for the entire career of Russian fishing four, if you'd like to. By the way, if you enjoy this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn those notifications on. I'll keep posting more RF4 videos and a variety of other games. Thank you for viewing. We're going to start the video. I don't think anybody was in the background. But it was fun. Oh, wrong account. Here we go, guys. Chicka chicka chicka. Just realized you can't see me. Actually, for today, we're going to turn this off. As soon as this gets in there, we will start fishing. Well, actually, uh, yeah, we need to get just a little bit more silver and get our second, uh, what do we call it? The second feeder rig. And once we get that, what we'll be able to do is go either brim or crucian carp fishing. So, right now we, we sold all our fish. We have 35 silver. I think we, we need just a little bit more. Let's go check it real quick, make sure to see exactly how much we need to get another Sorrento. Again, you could save up and just get, uh, Where's it at? The feeder start. It's 150 silver. It's not too hard. You could do that and you get all the stuff you need for it. But for now, and it, it comes with a decent reel also. For now, I'm just trying to get into it. So what I'm trying to do is get these Sorrentos. I'm going to get two of them. I'm just getting the cheapest one. I'm not going for anything special. They're all 4.6 kg. I don't need to cast very far. So this one right here works just fine for me. One second. Well, crack open a beverage. My little blueberry juice. For those on YouTube, it's not really blueberry juice. It's a, a monster. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we, we found this, right? 37 silver. So we need two silver and 2.3 silver, right? The easiest way to get that is what we've been doing. 
Come right over here again. Let's uh, a worm does just fine. And that. And this. Uh, okay, that works too. It's not exactly where I'd like to put it, but we've seen this work over and over and over again. Again, using Z, so you can zoom in. Just kind of a refresher. Went under. There's a fish. A little shiny sleeper. It's not, we know that that's not, uh, half a silver. Because it's not tagged. Therefore, it's not really helping a whole lot, but it is moving us closer. You gotta remember, once we have two feeder rods, then we need to start getting bigger hooks, and we need to start getting uh, better line, and uh, you know, just just going through all the all the things involved with getting bigger and bigger fish. Uh, Four point six kg is fully capable of trophies. Uh, especially in the roach and you know, I think we had uh, oh, we caught 10 types of fish. There we go. We're even moving up our qualifications. That's not even a goal of the day. But just goes to show you, you don't have to put in a whole lot of work before you can actually get into you know, qualifications and such. Uh, a little eyed, that might actually give us uh, a silver or two. Oh, I like that it's showing both right there together. I kind of expected the, the code to make it just one or the other. There's a little roach, not tagged, so it's under 50 silver. Gotta re-throw that one. Because, as you can see, it was under, but it was under while I was pulling on the other one. We'll zoom in so we can see better. And this is the way you used to have to do it. Now you got this little window down at the bottom that, you know, you don't really have to zoom in as much. But it does still help. A 70 gram perch will likely never be something you want to find. It's it's kind of a one of those pest fish, if you will. What hook do we have? We have a small hook. On this one. Now remember, hook size doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to catch bigger fish. It just means the average will be bigger. You can still catch a 32 gram perch on a size 4 aught hook. I've done it. Uh, I've caught a 32 gram perch on a uh, 100 gram perch bait. So, you know, it's all RNG. And perch will eat perch. Now, granted, to get bait fish, you're going to be much, much further in the game anyway. So, don't worry too much about that for now. You're going to know lots and lots and lots more about the game by the time you get to that. We've got six fish. We only got a couple tagged fish. But the good thing about this location, as opposed to going around there to the spot that we were told yesterday, possibly a good roach spot, is if we want to, we can just turn around and sell the fish real quick. We got both of them bouncing, 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 bouncing. Two 
two is gone. That's a decent fish. It's a good crucian. Nice. There's just another tagged fish. That should be enough for us. We're going to get one more, hopefully. If we can get us one more, we're going to go sell these fish, and we're going to try and get... Uh, I'm going to try and sell them and go get us our second feeder rod. And then we're going to go back and try and get Crucians and Gibbles. Crucian and Gibble Carp, uh, while later in the game they don't pay great, they pay decent at this level. We'll, we'll let this fish go on and commit. That Chinese sleeper should should seal up that two silver that we needed. There we go. All right. We got a nine fish in the in the bag. Uh, fish market, yeah, definitely got enough in there. Uh, let's see. We didn't catch enough of those. Not five of those. We didn't catch enough of anything to make a, a large quantity order. And it doesn't look okay. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do any of those. Now, some of those are pretty decent, but they're 424. That's enough to get where we wanted to go. All right, now it's time to go over here to the tackle store. We need to get us a feeder rod. Like I said, the cheapest one. Uh, I think we still need another sinker. Uh, 120. 170 for this one. And we'll go with another one of these. Uh, I, I don't think that leaves enough for even the cheapest of hooks. 85 silver. Or 80, 0.85 silver. Okay, so... Go back over to here, bring in our second Sorrento rod. So now we have two Sorrentos. Bring this up, reel. Remember, we got this reel for free. We can go get another one. While we're at it, just for research purposes, I know you can fix these. Uh, I don't know where the repair place is, but we're gonna come over here anyway. So might as well go and take a look. Acacia Berry, you want me to stretch? Probably now you're just getting a little dirty. But you can't even see me right now, so I don't know what you want me to stretch for. Oh, man. That was good. And hydrate? I'll do that. Got my blueberry juice right here. I would say sorry for talking too much, but I guess that's kind of what you guys come in here for. Taxiderma shop? No, we need to stay as far away from that as possible. Workshop. I was just wanting to see. It used to be there was a little glitch. That you could repair this stuff for next to nothing. See, now it's talking about 317 silver. It's not worth that. 339 for that. 114 for the ball bearings. These are things you could do later if you wanted to but there's not really a need to. We'll go get us a, a spark pretty soon. All right. Now, what do we say? We, we were going to go for Crucians and Gibbles. We don't really have the hooks to go for, for trophies yet, but hopefully we can get a good, you know, bag of them. So cool. How you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. All right, today we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing as we did last time. W what do we normally do? We open up our chat and say, "Hey guys, how are y'all doing?" Just like that, you don't have to speak in a southern twang unless you're, you know, of course, southern like me. Clockwise, you're lurking in the background. That's all right, buddy. I appreciate you hanging out. So cool, you're doing good. I'm doing just fine. I'm just recording this YouTube video. Hopefully, uh, 
day four if I can if I can cut it down enough uh, this will be the fourth video but if not it might just be like the second or third I don't know so like I was saying guys first thing you do you say tell people how y'all doing you know or however your dialect you know would normally say that and then go and say you know where where's a good spot or and then give your list of uh ones and then they're gonna tell you like which one's biting better more than likely or for gibble crucian Brim or Roach. Now that we got two bottom rigs, we can really go after the Roach too, because you can you don't have to be so worried. A trophy Roach is gonna pull good enough that you're gonna be a little bit nervous on your telesticks that we have, but uh But you don't have to. Uh, you, you can do it on those. Uh, and as he said, at where? See, these people, everybody's everywhere right now. And you have to kind of remember, you know, to say it. I, I did forget. All right, they're trying to give me some help. Whiskey, well, thank you for the lurk, bud. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, People aren't really for sure 100%, but you know what? They say next to the bridge, which is kind of where I was expecting to be anyway. Uh, I've done actually this from all these locations here. Uh, I got my, my trophy here right after they updated all the system here uh i don't have the best baits as as we know right but we're gonna we're gonna do wet bread for now <laughs> it's all right whiskey we're gonna go in and set this thing out in the middle of nowhere number two we're gonna set this one up now remember, this is not the best reel. It's gonna have a clickety clack. We didn't buy any new line. So we got 2.2 kg line, which is perfectly fine. We didn't get us a new bell. We did get us a, you know, 60 gram sinker. Don't have any feeders yet, or uh, leaders yet. Have us a small hook. And we're gonna do wet bread also. No, uh, actually, clockwise. I'm I'm just uh, recording this, so I'll actually dig them up here in a second. Uh, and of course, this is why you set a clip. Obviously, that's way too far, right? And here we are. We're snagged up. Except we're in a ghost snack. This, this is a game mechanic. This isn't a, oh, I don't know how I did that. It went through the rail. Sometimes you get what's called a ghost snag, which is literally, if you reel, you'll see that the spool is just turning, 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 turning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the re retrieval speed way, way down, and I'm going to do this and just see if we can pop it up, which, as you can see, that's exactly what happened, right? We'll do the retrieval speed back up again. Uh, Keisha, I'm going to actually go through how to make it, so it doesn't really help. Uh, thank you, though. I, I, no, no, I just did it again, didn't I? 
apparently oh by the way this little note here means that you're overweight uh the things at the end of the rod are more than the rod's supposed to handle at this level i wouldn't worry about it too much uh that probably means that the the bread is just heavy enough that with the weight it's getting on the edge as long as it's yellow wait a minute what did, what do you mean no it doesn't that's what it means oh no the kg is what it means doesn't it i need to say that right don't i what is that then it means the reel is bad oh that one's the reel it comes up too doesn't it okay scratch that delete it remove it from the video joe is dumb we know this <laughs> uh so apparently this doesn't necessarily mean that the weight is over this means that the reel is damaged you know we, we already looked at that it's got 50 percent damage there's nothing we can really do about that right now we're just using it as a free reel until we get us another i think it's 13 silver to get us a a spark or I think we can save up a little more and get something better, but I think we're going to go for Sparks to begin with. They're cheap, and they last forever, so. All right, so here we're going to set our clip. Remember, it's Control Plus. We're going to do a 10. We're just going to throw it right up in here. That's number two. And number three, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to leave this one with a worm. We're going to see how that works. I'm going to throw it right there under the bridge. I'm pretty sure we missed three or four fish by now on the telescopic. We kind of got to watch this one because we don't have any indicator on it right now. So if we start seeing a bend over, we got to just grab it. Yeah, sorry about that, Chad. I'm, for some reason, I thought that was overweight. Move this over here. I have a small hook there. See, now we see that one's moving. Pick it up. Oh, 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 oh. So you saw that tension bar went all the way up to a... Uh up into the red and it started glowing that means it the line's about to break now you don't always have to lift the rod but i do quite often so that you can see the the spool and if you can see the spool then you know if it's spinning or not put this under there I don't have my headphones on at the moment. I need to go on and put them on. All right, a little perch. As you can see, we're, get, we're getting a little experience for our qualifications too, which again, is not the focus of this video series. But if that's something you're going for, you know, that, that's something to keep an eye on. If you want to be a level one or level two, level three, You just watch those and see how far you're going. If you do want to like actually get into it, it's right here. You push escape, go to your main menu. Not there. Go to qualifications. And here we are in feeders. This is the one we're actually working on right now that it was telling us about. And it'll tell you what you've caught and you know how many you need. So we need two more of those to get that piece of this qualification. Then a fish weighing one and a half kilo and then catch a brim. Uh, none of those three should be too difficult. Now, this one went slack, so we don't know what's on it. We can press R, and we can tell, okay, there's nothing on it. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like, hopefully. Uh, pretty soon. I don't know why it shot off that far over, but... 
Here's just a little gibble. Let's go in and we see that this is getting bites here, right in the middle. Let's go in and, oh, there is something on that. You see this button? Now the real rotation speed is selected automatically. That means that there's a fish on. Now, as we were reeling that in one bit, I don't know if you have to have tension on it. Maybe they change that. That put it right next to that thing. We might need to shorten that a little. We've done got this ghost snag again. We'll just lock the reel real quick. And remember to back it back down. You don't want to accidentally leave it locked because you're probably going to break your rod or line and lose all your stuff very quickly. Now remember, you're not, your game's not over if you break everything you have. You can always go back and start over again. Go to the cottage, go get you a free uh, spinning kit and or a free telescopic kit. My suggestion is get the telescopic kit first if you're going to have to restart from everything. Uh, just, unless you just really, really, really want to do spinning. And you got to put up with a click, 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 click of, uh, of that reel. As you probably noticed here, not on this reel, but. I'm going to set this one to seven. That's perfect, except for in the wrong location. That comes with skill. Uh, accuracy comes with skill. It's one of the things if you put points into your feeder rods, which is not something I would suggest. You're not going to use your feeder rods for a very, very long time. I mean, you will, but once you get up to the bigger fish, you don't really need feeder rods anymore. Uh, you'll still use them for brim and uh, crucians and things like that, but you don't really need them for everyday usage. You're going to buy what they call carp rods, and eventually you'll also buy some picker rods. Your picker rods will be for your smaller fish, and your uh, carp rods will be for everything else. The bigger uh, carp, of course, the sturgeon, uh, on into belugas if, if that's what you choose to do. Me personally, I don't think you're ever going to find me going for belugas. They they take forever. And if you catch one that's massive, it's going to take you forever to reel it in. Acacia says he's going to get an update today on a piece of art that's RF4. You commissioned? Okay, cool. Are you saying RF4 commissioned you or you commissioned someone? By the way, guys, if you if you haven't noticed, this is this is our experience bar. Uh, this is something I was told in the last video. We kind of need to go over, and while we got a little slow spot here, we'll talk about it. This is your experience. Uh, this circle represents how close you are. It's also represented in no number form here. This is your actual experience. 
and how much experience it takes to get to the next level. And this is your actual level. This is your energy rate. Uh, the higher it is, the the more energy you have to reel and pull hard and stuff like that. Uh, oh, now we can see we got two fish on. We got this little crucian here. Let's throw this a little bit further out this time. And do this. And we'll get back to that in just a second. You gotta remember, right now we're, we're grinding for some silver, right? Because what, what are the things we need? We need a new reel. And we're eventually going to need more rods, right? We're going to need another feeder rod. Possibly, instead of buying a third one of these, the really, really cheap ones, we're going to buy one slightly better rod. Uh, again, if you want to go the, the route of spinning and stuff, stuff like that, then you can you can do that you can go to winding and you can work through it that way i'm not going to go through a tutorial on that it is very possible and people do it and they enjoy it i as much spinning as i use in my normal account i don't find it enjoyable to be honest it's it's just not my thing everybody has their own ow everybody has their own preferences my preference is actually float and some bottom fishing. And I missed it. Thank you, Acacia, for slapping me in the middle of speech. <laughs> But no, I was reading it. No, I had someone draw Quarry Lake with a grayling being held by my persona. Persona? Do uh, I... I don't mean to be offensive in this, but are, are, you, are you saying you're a furry? I know some people take a little offense to the name. I don't know what to call people that, you know, do this kind of stuff. But. Okay. I'm, uh, fully supportive of your choices, but I may not talk about it a whole lot, okay? That's okay. <laughs> I, I personally, it's it's not my thing. I and I fully understand that everybody has their thing. So, But yeah, that's cool. The artwork will. I mean, I assume it'll be cool. Alright. We are still just grinding away at these fish. We're, we're going to probably get up to level eight pretty soon hopefully we'll start getting into some better fish again i don't know where the what's biting here right now one thing as i said last time the other other thing to do is go to forums or go to our discord our community discord blue tag gaming go to trophies and see if anybody's just like pulling them out looks like uh Paya was catching some uh, zebra mussels, which is a, definitely a shout, like possibility. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's just like trying real hard uh, for anything mosquito right now. 
in that section. Did you go down to uh, the mosquito thing? Yes, yeah, people still aren't talking much about it. You can even go to winding. Say, hey, okay. Uh, a couple days ago, Bumpy Trail, he uh, he caught some bleak trophies over in winding. Which again, that could that could be a very good possibility, but yeah, I'm, and this is what happens when you don't pay attention. You miss fish. I know, I know, I know. Bruh. Well, the good thing. Oh, okay. So one th I'll bring this up. The reason to get into bottom fishing, guys, for the YouTube crowd, right? The, the three or four people that ever look at this video. If you're on YouTube and you're watching this, float fishing is what we call active fishing. You have to be watching what you're doing. Whereas bottom fishing with say feeder rods or later with carp rods or things like that it's really passive fishing because and you can see how good a passive fishing it is actually if you go over here and you open up your rod right you can use g on it or whatever and you can't really open it up right now but if you go to this change let me see if i can so number two is about to hit. We'll see if we can get something to bite real quick so we can take a look at it. The different rigs have different different features, right? They uh they might be better for catching different types of fish. Uh therefore like uh an inline rig very well is much better for smaller fish like your little roughies and bleak and uh ooh see we like this i don't know what this is but it's our last worm now we can we can go dig worms remember we bought the uh, Hey, look at that! 1.7 kg. That is just under a trophy, if I remember right. Uh, actually, no, they're, they go up to like a 2, two kg. Either way, this is a good gibble. So this is going to give us a lot of silver for, you know, our level and all. Probably 3 or 4 silver. Anyway, they don't pay a lot because they're easier to catch. We're gonna keep it, as you can see, we're getting a little bit of bottom skill. It's gonna help out getting more also. Uh, that was our last worm. We're gonna have to dig for some. But if you look at this, we got the bottom fishing rig. Now we don't have any other options, but if you look down here at the description, basic bottom rig is one of the, in which a weight is attached to the main line with a knot or a treble swivel. Uh, universal for, use in still water currents. So some of these rigs are really good for just still water. Some of them are very good for in current, but this one, it's it's the most basic rig. It's good for air, just about everything. This rig has low sensitivity, which means it's not the best for the little bitty fish, the little roughies and such, but fast auto hooking. So when they bite and they're sitting there nibbling at it, this rig uh, actually, compared to the other rigs, is the quickest to actually get one to just go on and latch onto. I uh, know the Paternoster rig is also really good, but it has much better uh, sensitivity. Uh, the Paternoster also, it, uh, you can use a feeder on both, but on the Paternoster, you can... Uh,
it's supposed to work a little bit better. That's a good little fish here. Again. Probably not as good as that 1.7 kg, but it's a decent little crucian carp. If you forget to, if you do forget to close your reel and you don't want to pick it back up, hit the Y button and it reels it in. That has, that's also how you tighten up your lines. With anything with an auto hook, you want tight lines. If it doesn't have an auto hooking feature, you want a loose line. Uh, why did I not use ground bait? Jaylee, thank you for coming into the channel and welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm not using ground bait because on this uh, account, I don't have ground bait yet, and uh, I don't have enough silver yet generated to really start working on it. Now, I could ask for it. I'm not going to do that right now. I, I really don't want to. Because uh, I want to work my way up on this account. Yeah. I'm doing my best to make just the most basic tutorial for YouTube, right? All right? Let's look at our keep net. We've got a decent little spread of fish. We've got a few tags here that will give us decent silver for this level. So one thing we should do, let's go on and at this level, normally when, when you get higher levels, you're gonna try and get half a bag, if not a, a full bag. Your bag is right here, over here on the bottom right hand corner. It tells you 18, you, maximum you can hold at one time is 100. If you have 100 guys, either get rid of some fish or go sell them. Uh, later, when you're bottom fishing, you'll probably throw away most of the fish that don't have uh, tags. Let's see, five of these that is 9.7. Yeah, so that's good. That's 10 silver nearly for those we only got one perch okay we need two of these for that which would be a good one but we only have one we've only got one roughy so right now like I said I'd love to go and find the good spots for all these but I don't really have that kind of uh, resources at the moment to go and find them I could I could just go and try different spots and say okay I've caught this let me get more but I want to get I need to get a few things right so here's eight more silver so right now we have two Sorrento rods we've got the free uh, USSR reel let's let's see how this is your initial spark now you get one with the the little guy uh, the Corona rod, right? So you have one of these already. Uh, and you can get the 3,000, but they have the same uh, same drag rating. The thing that this is, the difference in these two is going to be the size of the spool. Now, as you can tell, they have the same max drag. Sometimes this drag will be different. So always keep an eye out for that. But the spool size, the line capacity, this is how much will actually fit on there. Now, Right now we're buying 100 meters at a time. It's not really gonna matter, but it's worth the extra silver if you do get some extra line to go in and get the 3000 series. You've got one 2000, so if, if you do get later in the game, you're still using a spark for your lightweight rods and stuff like that, you can still use this, but buying this one is a good investment. But you can look, so we know that the kit for 150 silver comes with this one that's 100 silver there so if you're going to go for those these kits here then this is this is the deal you need to do but do we really want all this probably not it's it's up to you i'm going to choose not to right now I want to get one of these 
to kind of upgrade that one rod. And I'm also going to get some new hooks. Now, we don't have a lot of silver and we don't have a whole lot of levels either. We can go up to these if we want to. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. So these are not too bad. They're two stars. Uh, these are also two stars and they're a little cheaper. Now, it, if you read through these, it will tell you sometimes like, you know, they're suited for certain types of fish or uh, they're reliable thin hooks, which means they're not very strong, but they're they're going to be good. Right. We want a size one hook. That's what we want to do. We want to get start getting into trophy size uh, gibble carp and brim and things like that. So a size one, you can use any of these, but a size one is going to give you kind of a a chance at getting something bigger. We're going to do that. So now we don't have a whole lot of silver left over, but if you remember right, hopefully we still have enough. We don't have enough to buy one. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but we we've got some we've got some fish on right now. It, let's go reel them in. Ooh, this is a decent fish too. Don't be afraid to go into the red. Uh, if you're bottom fishing this level, especially with bread, don't be afraid to go in the red. Okay, this is going to be our first real fight of a fish, right? Now we're, we're right on the edge, right? So this is probably a decent. This is with our spark. Our other spark, the one that we got with the 2000 series. So we put a little bit of pressure on it. We went up into the red, which is dangerous, right? But again, we don't really have to fear getting bitten off right now. It might be a trophy, I doubt it, but it might be. Uh, more than likely, it's a little eyed. Or something like that. That's what it kind of looks like right now. Oh, that's a gibble. Again, we don't have a net. It's 1.3, okay. So we've already had one of these that was a little bit bigger even. But that one just decided to fight better. Every fish is different. Some of them fight better than others, even though they're smaller. So as you can tell, we still got the 2000S right here. We're going to toss that back out. Tighten, tighten up the line. And like I said, as you can see, this one's staying on. It's going to stay on for a while. It's not going to stay on forever, but it'll stay on for a long time because it's already hooked because it's got that auto hooking feature whereas that telescopic rod if I don't pick it up at the exact right time it won't get caught see I'm sitting over here watching this one this one's still here it's still on the hook but let's go and reel this one in it will and as you can tell, at nighttime, gibble carp actually tend to be better. Right. We got us three little fish right now. Let's go on and reel this one in. And remember, we only need 90 silver, or 0.9 silver, not 90 to get another bell, which is, uh, we kind of need it. We, we don't have to have it, but it would be very, very helpful. So what I'm gonna do is, since there's nothing on it right now, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go sell these little four fish, because again, we're only needing small amounts of silver. It's okay to go sell m multiple times, because it's just right here. Uh, if we had to run around the lake, uh, there are better spots to fish, and some of them are further away. Now we got five silver, you know. Let's go over to rig components, mechanical bite alarms, or you can just click bite alarms, and it'll be just fine. What the heck is?
right. There's that. We're going to get another one of these. These don't matter. Uh, back in the day, it did. Uh, as you can tell, these have different star ratings and stuff. But nowadays, the, the way the mechanics work, it does not matter which one you use. Uh, these aren't as loud as these other two. I think this is the loudest one. They all have different sounds, so you can kind of tell which one's which. The only one you're going to get a lot of difference in is this horn here. This one's extremely loud. And as you can tell, you got to be 16 to do it, and it's 200 silver. But uh, I don't think we have enough. Uh, check to see if a hook, maybe a, a cheaper hook. We got 449 to do it. Uh, let's go to classic. 440. We can, we can get one of these. Size one hook. All right. These sh one of these should be on right now. Ooh, it's not. That's kind of crazy. We're going to go in and reel this one in, though. Pop that one up. We're going to change this stuff out. I, I don't want to hear that thing again. Put that on there. We do need to buy some new line next, probably. Uh, buy the indicator is this. And as we said, we're going to get this here. I'm going to go put the wet bread. That's the only thing we have that can fit on that large hook. Which is okay. Because on that large hook, we're hoping to get trophy gibbles and commons. As you might can tell right now. We're actually running out of even bread. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a little bit of bait, uh, bait making. I don't want to do a whole lot because we don't have the silver or the, the income to really justify a whole lot. But as we said, we... We have this shovel. We bought it, right? We, we could have saved money and not gotten it earlier, uh, which would have been fine. But here, we got a red worm and we got four regular worms. It is worth doing. There. Drink uh, one tea for it. As I said, we can't really make tea, so we'd have to ask for it, and that's what we did. Uh, there are other ways. You can just wait and get energy, but that we asked so that we didn't have to wait. Uh, looks like we got a fish on. We'll catch this, and then we'll discuss how to... Uh, we're out of bait now, right? So let's put the... A worm on here throw it back out there I don't know if this is gonna be a good place for a worm or not it doesn't matter so in so we have two options right now everything else is locked right we can make wet bread or potato cubes now to make potato cubes you have to go back to winding and buy potatoes from the place right behind the administration building which is called the farmers market now bread we still have a bread we can make this now if it doesn't fail which hopefully it doesn't there you go we get 30 pieces of wet bread for that now you're like oh well at 30 will last a long time it, it'll last a little bit but you're gonna want to grind it because what you really want to start getting to is all the other stuff that you can get with it and we'll look at that so as you can see the next thing you can get to is pearl barley pearl barley is good for a lot of different things 
and it's cheap to make. Uh, oatmeal uh, porridge here. At times it can be good. Uh, it just depends on what's biting and when, where. Sweet dough is really good for tench and uh, you gotta be careful because uh, cats, uh, catfish will eat it, not catfish. Uh, take two. Other than tench, also grass carp will bite these. Uh, wheat grains are usually for catfish also, or not catfish, uh, I keep saying catfish, I mean grass carp. Or common carp, yeah, common carp will eat it sometimes too. Uh, semolina is a great, great bait. Uh, crucians, gibbles, uh, sometimes roach. Garlic dough is what, you, what you're really hoping to get to. Now it does take a ways to get to. If you want to know how much bait making you need to get and use it, press your O key, go to out, go over to harvesting bait. It's all part of the same thing. And you can go over, say garlic dough. So you need 35% to make garlic dough. We've made 1% so far. So you need to make a lot of stuff. Now you might be like, well, I didn't see, I didn't see bread or anything that sounded like bread here in the tackle store. It's because you don't, don't use the tackle store. Use the grocery store. Now a grocery store, uh, where is the grocery store here? That's the cafe, hot food. So this is where you get the free food here. If, if you want to eat, uh, like we've already discussed, you know, maybe you want to eat, maybe you don't. Uh, there's the grocery store right here on the side. Bread is here. No. Remember, it's four pieces, but you only get to use it once. You can eat three and then make one. It works just fine. If you want to eat. Uh, we know it's going to take a lot. But we're just going to buy one because that's all we have right now. We can buy another one, but yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna help as much making one or two. Uh, at these early stages, the worms worms are gonna be what you're you know able to redo over and over and over again for free. Okay, we got some slack lines. We don't have any fish on. going to tighten these back up. Give me one second up. here I will be back in just one second uh, these will be just going right we don't have to worry about those they can, they can run a little bit I'll be right back I gotta go turn off something downstairs
And I'm back. Uh, sometimes the wife calls and you gotta answer. Sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that that's completely false. All right, let's reel this in. Let's see, we got a couple fish here. We're slowly getting a little experience. Oh, we didn't reset this clip. Okay, here's a little lesson. When you change reels, you got to reset the clip. <laughs> All right, let's set this to seven. That's good. Looks perfect. I put my headphones on because you can't, I can't hear anything unless I got my headphones on. You were glaring too there, Acacia. <laughs> yeah. So, as we can see, anybody that's experienced is sitting here looking at this going, oh my God, this is so slow. It is, but there's a reason for it. There, we're, we're grinding away at this early, early stuff, hopefully setting ourselves up for each and every next step to be slightly easier. Make sure to tell everybody grats when they get magical girl J just got to level 18. If you're in the chat, it, it, again, it's just an etiquette thing. Just say, hey, congratulations. You know, good job. Everybody knows that you want to get to higher levels and things like that. She's over here, like closer and closer to 20. I think at 18, you should start being happy with where you're at and try to be anyway, because there's a lot to learn in each and every water body. I went straight through. Yeah. And uh, as somebody in the Twitch chat, uh, Acacia was saying, you know, a lot of us, we got to a certain level and we're like, okay, we're going to grind up until we can get to a really, really high level uh, place that we want to get to. And it's one way of doing it. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, by the time you get there, do you have the equipment you need? Do you have the, do you really know what you're doing enough to, to really be effective? And quite often the answer is, probably you're okay you know you can get by but one thing i'm noticing like it's dying off right now right the the bite rates kind of slowed down uh one thing we definitely need to do is go back over here and dig some more Got seven worms. That's a good dig for us. We need to make sure we're always digging as much as possible now. Now that we got the shovel. Uh, I keep forgetting. Uh, my numbers are different for this account and my other account, but. Now I have premium on my other account, so you can have two additional spots with the with premium. So I have my my coffee on six and my uh, tea on seven. So I always press seven if I want to drink tea, 
and I don't have that on this account. On this account, five is T. Four is a shovel, and on my other one, four is my spot rod, so. At this level, we never really did get through all that stuff. We'll, we'll go over it again here in just a second. Now we can start now. We talked about the experience and the level and all that. This is your energy bar. As long as it's not red at this level, you're you're fine. If it goes all the way out, you can damage some of your equipment. Uh, this is your food bar. All, all you really care on this, for the game-wise, if that's all you care about is the game, if it's full, you can't eat or drink. So you don't want to fill this up all that often this is your health bar it's not really used anywhere at the moment in the game uh i know there are a couple things that will help it go down i think if you drink too much alcohol it'll go down i personally don't use alcohol but it can help you uh different stages of drunkenness if you will will increase your experience level uh, I'm not really sure how that's supposed to relate to real world, but, you know, hey. That's the mechanic they added, so that's the way it is. All right, and the final one down there is your comfort level. Now, your comfort level seems like it's um, the most unimportant, but it's... It's probably the second most important one in the whole screen uh, of these four. Because what that's going to do is it's going to tell, it's going to give you, it gives you a bonus. The higher that is, the more likely you are to actually catch something at a larger size. Uh, closer to trophy. So if you're full on your comfort and you have all your right gear, you're in the right spot, you have a higher chance of catching better fish. Now, this has been debated back and forth amongst the community. It, it, it's been told at times that it didn't matter. The developers have made several different back and forth statements over the years. But as it is right now, the last I heard... They're saying that it does help with your actual quality of fish. So it is worth, from time to time, drinking tea rather than coffee to get your energy up over time because it also boosts your comfort level a lot. Uh, if you move on into getting cocoa, it boosts it even more. Uh, Food, higher end foods will also boost your comfort level. But again, if you eat, you may not get the energy boost, but you get that comfort boost. And also the higher your comfort, the slower your energy drains. That's the other benefit to comfort. If you're comfortable, you don't, you don't get tired as easy. If you're not getting tired as easy, then you're not wasting as much tea and coffee to boost your energy back. Speaking of energy, we got a full energy right now. Let's dig. Got five more worms. All right. Now, we're not really catching a whole lot here, right? And we've been here for almost an hour now. Well, we've been in the game for about an hour now. What we're going to do is, this will probably be on the, the fifth episode now. We're going to swap over now. I'm going to have to record an outro for all these uh, separately, but. We're going to just ask anyone, no, any. Because we don't really care what it is now. On Mosquito. Any good spots? 
Now you're asking this because you want to get somebody, somebody on here to go, yeah, I'm catching lots and lots of brim. This guy says he got five trophies today. I don't know what that means. I don't know what kind of trophies. Yeah, I couldn't see. I was. I got another bite. And you get people that say things that you're just like, okay, well, if you don't have anything to add to it, I don't know why you comment, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, look, I don't know. All right, so 9046. And they're saying with semolina, wheat seeds, red worm, and oatmeal. I don't know what he's catching. It's in the bottom right of the map. Okay, I know the spot. Uh, I know the spot he's talking about, I think. Now, Mosquito, this is a rework. For anybody on YouTube that's new to the game, this is a rework. Mosquito used to be this big circle, or pretty much a circle lake. And your spots were all around the edge. Now, you've got spots everywhere in here. You even got an eight meter hole. This this never existed. Nothing like it existed. Uh, I'm a, I'm guessing that you can catch some things here in this eight meter hole. Uh, I know that they have trophy common carp now here, which is not something you could have done at one time. All right. So now we know we're we're gonna go. All the way down there so let's make sure we have all the gear we need and we know we can't do uh any of these other baits we got we got red worms we've got a few f tagged fish here let's go and sell these see, see if we can buy some red worms now we could dig for them all day but sometimes it's better just to buy them because 30 of them is going to take a while with our skill level. There's six silver. There we go. Oh, we did say we we're going to need some new line. Uh, that might still be an issue, but uh, let's see if we can get some red worms. Uh, we can't. They're completely sold out of the 30. You can buy 600 of them, but you can't buy 30 of them. And that really, really sucks. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't get night crawlers either. I can get some worms. We've got 13 of them already, though. And we can dig for them pretty easy. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So maybe we go and see... Uh, just click on all baits, right? You can buy one of these bait kits. It'll give you, you know, a little bit of several different types of baits that are commonly used. Or you can go down here and say, okay, well, all these are crafted baits. Can't really use these. He did say this and semolina are the main things that he was using. Uh, we're not going to buy either one of those mainly because... I don't want to buy gold to do it. And I wouldn't want to tell anybody else to either. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good baits in here that 
you know, once you get into boilies, that's that's a whole different animal. That's a different game altogether. Uh, am I going to be in the League Cup? Probably not, uh, Acacia. I would love to, but I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, that's that's the one problem I have with the whole league thing is I just don't have time at that time. I was hoping we would have an early morning session one day. But we're not doing that. All right, we're going to run down here. We should have enough wet bread. We can still catch things on it. But here, there's another option, all right? And again, I don't want to make people like, oh, all you gotta do is ask and people give it to you. They don't have to give any anything. But if you ask nicely in the chat, somebody's probably gonna do something, like even if it's 10 or 15. Okay. We're looking for 90, 46. Okay, so we're moving we're moving down on the second one, which we know we got to go a long ways or a bunch of numbers. That's not really a long way. There's nowhere that far in this game. Amber's probably the biggest one that I know of that running can take forever. And they give you a four wheeler. There. But they don't give it to you. You have to rent it. 9047. Okay. Um, I haven't been here. I don't know anything about this location. But uh I got a red worm. Let's let's put a red worm on the float. We're gonna start with this. Uh, just clip reminder to block the chat when we're not actually chatting. Uh, yeah, normally I'd have my, my camera up over the thing, but I'm really recording this because I, I realize when I'm trying to edit the first batch of videos that this can be uh, fairly hard to cut up if, if my face is over here. The music makes it hard enough. It, it might still be kind of weird, but with the music, if it is weird, I can just mute it and then talk over. Got us a little tinge. Nice. Uh, on bread is kind of weird, but okay. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm, I am going to go to chat and I'm going to ask for some baits. Now, again, make sure you're doing this right. Don't just go, hey, somebody give me this. Be nice about it, you know? Don't be rude. Ask if anyone has, because more than likely they do. Some spare red worms or semolina. And that's all we're going to do. If, if no one responds, no one responds, you know. And that's fine. We're going to fish with what we have if no one responds. There's nothing wrong with asking. Uh, here, Whiskey Ace, uh, fellow streamer. Make sure to check him out. I'll put, make sure to have him in the description also of all these videos. I'm going to try and catch all the, the pirate crew, the... the uh, blue tag community. I'm going to try and get most of their Twitch handles here in the description on YouTube. Hey, Whiskey gave me some 100 red worms. See, this is why sometimes asking makes it a little too easy. 
He's giving me 200 red worms and 67 semolina. So I always say thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it is a bit much, uh, but... You know. And, you know, people like that, you know. Once you get into bait make or bait harvesting, you'll start noticing. You get a lot of extra stuff. You're going to have so much wet bread that you'll probably never use it. And if you do, congratulations, you found a reason to use it. Uh, as you can tell, you don't really get big, big fish on wet bread. But you get some but not a whole lot. So most people don't use it very often, but you got a ton of it because you got to use it to, you know, level up your bait harvesting. There's there's other baits like that. Uh, semolina tends to be a big one, uh, but you will use semolina all the time. Uh, brim fishing and crucians, uh, semolina is a common bait. Oh, hey guys. We got rank one in our telescopic fishing. Congratulations to us. Red worms are over there. We're going to hopefully we'll catch something on it. Oh, Obviously, this is going to be a smaller fish. Uh, if you noticed, it was bouncing, 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 and it took it under and then it lost it. So what that means is usually that the hook's too big for that particular fish. Uh, in that case, also, we were told whoever it was was getting trophies, and I don't know on what, whether it be brim or... Uh, brim or crucian carp but we're going to switch this over to semolina and on that size one hook I can tell you one thing whichever one it is we're probably going to start getting some decent bites although we didn't change her clip we're supposed to change it to 10 According to my notes. Popped it. Still going. Okay. A ah, little Chinese sleeper. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to do something slightly different with this. Uh... I know we had the 18 hook, which is, that's fine. Let's put a fly on here. This looks like a very, very good place, possibly for bleak or frogs. Now, I'm not entirely sure that that's what's we're, what we're going to catch, but. Put semolina on two of them. Pop that one loose. Let's go on and switch these over to 10 clip, which is what he said to do. Pop that loose. Do the same thing here. It's very, very important, guys. 
uh, when you're when you're doing spots, the clip the, for bottom fishing is extremely important. Uh, bottom fishing mechanics have to do with location, especially in the game. Uh, fish don't tend to move around that much. But the thing is, they could be over here, they could be over there, or they could be over there. I don't know where he was saying to cast. And to be honest, it said 9046, so it's probably over there. Sometimes I'm I mess this stuff up. We had a little bite on this. And we missed it. Go over here. Remember not to walk in the water. It will reset your uh, bite. And number three. Now, if you actually get a snag, if it if it tells you snagged then you do not want to lock the reel. That, that's a good way to break everything you have. But if it's just a ghost snag where it doesn't tell you you're snagged and all that, then it's perfectly fine. Clip 10. There we go. And we'll get back to active fishing with this rod. Yeah. Well, float fishing is active fishing, right? By the way, if you hear me moving this and it sl sounds slightly different, because I'm moving the mic, I'm trying to get it more of a... It's still a new mic, so I'm trying to get it in a location that I'm not leaning into it to talk, because it is really uh, really weird to do, and it, it does get my posture off. And as much as like Acacia Berry likes to remind me of posture check and all that, uh, I do have a bad problem. <laughs> there she goes again. Thank you, Acacia, for reminding me. After I just reminded you. Hopefully we start catching something pretty soon. This is the one problem at times. Is sometimes this can get really, really slow. Hey, there we go. We got a frog. That's a good frog, too. That's probably going to be worth quite a bit of silver. I don't remember how much frogs are in general, but... Uh, they can be quite profitable, especially at lower levels. Maybe five. Hey, if I can get five silver uh, with with this character, Pi Steve, I'm. I think that's a good thing. That pays for half a reel <laughs> at this point. Uh, by the way, welcome to the stream. Uh, I really appreciate you stopping by.
You guys, if you're in the stream and you have something you, you think needs to be added to this, let me know. I don't mind at all. You're headed to your catfish spot. Steve, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of want to go catfishing at some point. Uh, on my main account, not this one, obviously. This That would be a terrible idea. Uh, is there any way you can, like, message me? Uh, even whisper or something in, or go to the Discord and send me a message about kind of where and what you're using? Because I am terrible at catfishing when I want to ca catch them. When I don't want to catch them, I catch, you know, 30, 40 kilo catfish and end up just fighting it or alt f 4 I Not really. I mean, I've got something that can handle it if I want to fight, but... I've got an alpha and some good carp rods. I say N alpha, I got three alphas. You're jigging for them? Well, I got some super duties, that'll work. For what, you know, for what they are. Are you on are you on Sura in that deep hole? It's right next to where you get the uh right right next to where you get the boat. Alright, so the I nine's okay. Uh, tuba, okay. The I nine spot, okay. Finally, we get a bite over here. It looks like we got a bite on both of them. They're not big. Oh. I thought it done pulled tight. My bad. I'm going to switch this one to red worm. That was the other uh, opinion. The, the one thing for anybody on YouTube that's watching this in the future, the one thing about mosquito and the reason you might get a little bit of trouble finding spots. The one reason you may not, you might get a little bit of trouble finding spots on Mosquito is once people are out of Mosquito, they tend not to come back very often. Uh, every now and then you'll have a really, really big day or a little time where crucians and gibbles are just they're biting uh trophies like non-stop those are the days you'll see oh nice little chinese sleeper yeah see that's the thing when they rebuilt mosquito the people that like me and like Pi Steve in, in the Twitch chat are talking about. We knew places like, okay, even if everything's going wrong, these spots are going to be biting. Problem is right now, not, there is none of that. They redid the entire lake. So, and I believe they put in no permanent spots. So these spots rotate all the time and there's a bunch of them that you can go through. Now, as a new player, 
you don't really want to be trying to go to random places and throwing a worm in because you never know what's going to bite here uh used to be if you caught a a common carp on mosquito it's not a huge deal you know they're going to be three or four kilo it'd be a good nice fight for uh, somebody's really new but a trophy common was just almost unheard of now apparently it's common enough that there's commonly a cafe order for them. I'm not saying that's really common, but it can happen. Oh, and uh, in case you were asking how to get frogs on a cottage, but Cottage Pond actually, if you can find the frogs, they're really easy to get. By the way, this is not the most efficient way of getting frogs. Uh, with bottom rigs is the fastest way to get frogs. And we could switch over to that, but you know, I was hoping that whatever trophies this guy uh, in chat was talking about he uh, would be biting pretty quick. There's no lily pad. You don't have to have lily pads. Uh, the green here is is sufficient. Uh, they'll live in these reeds. I mean, they could literally be in anything. I've caught more frogs in open water than I have around a lily pad. So just because it seems like a common gameplay location doesn't mean it's it's the place where they're going to be. I mean, if it's not necessarily real life either. Because if this was real life, we'd be all fishing with corn. And we'd be sitting here for two or three days trying to get a bite. And just to be completely fair about it, there are lily pads. We're just outside of them. There's two different types of lily pads, actually. I didn't notice that. There's the flat lilies and the, the little green lilies. Oh, at Cottage? Uh, around reeds. Look... Try and fish around reeds. not entirely like I I've never fished cottage pond for any kind of grinding scenario acacia to be completely honest I it's just not something I would even think to do uh, there's nowhere to sell your fish there there's just no purpose to be there really that's uh, for the comp tonight oh, okay uh yeah, I would try and go around all the reeds. These are reeds, by the way, if people don't know. This uh, green grass looking stuff. Let's see if I can catch something up in here. There's nothing clear water 
right here, but in the little display window, it looks clear. Loach are active. Okay. It's places like this you normally get like really good bites on like bleak and stuff like that. Silver Dragon, ooh. Yeah, okay. we're gonna, we're gonna go by my normal thing. If I can put it there for 10 or 15 seconds and I'm not getting any kind of movement, it's probably not as active as what I'm wanting. It doesn't mean it's not an active spot. It just means that we don't have any like urgent activity like we had around the the dock up there. But I'm really, really, really thinking. 9114, which is the spot that we were given last time, is right over here somewhere. And judging by the speed of this thing, of these bites, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to move to 9114. We're getting a couple bites here, but it's nothing, nothing big at all. And again, we could just be moving it around. It's not a big issue. You know, we might sit here going like, oh, well, instead of being over where we're at right there. You know, maybe it's more this way. I don't know. We'll let us sit here for a second and see. Well, that's a that's a good sign. Uh, either a it's a glitch, and it's doing the constant fall glitch, which is what's making it bounce, or there's a fish. It looks more and more like a fish, by the way. Not really what I was hoping for there. It works. Okay, well, it started off getting bit and then it just stopped. You got frogs? Good job. Are you getting multiple frogs? That's the that's the question. It's total weight, any fish. Okay. We're going to switch this one to red worms. We're going to put it down 50 centimeters. There's a decent fish. 
well, I say decent. 370 gram is not really decent. Kind of hoping this buy rate picks up a little bit. It looks like it is. One thing, the next step, guys, is getting into ground bait, right? Crucian Gibble is the easiest one. Ground crackers, millet porridge, and sunflower oil. Now, I don't remember how much this is, but I think one one pack of it is about 10 silver. The comp tonight is going to be an interesting one. I, I really do think it will be. I, I wish that I had time. If I can get in, I'll, I might just drop in and it's a total weight. There's no way I'm going to be able to fish for two hours. But I might drop in just to add to the numbers. If I can. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to leave those out we're gonna run all the way back you got multiple frogs all right well acacia where are you at you're you're at cottage right so is it is it something that you know, maybe we could we could use in the reeds by the dock. Do you think it's something we could get, you know, 10 or 15 of pretty quick? Without ground bait or anything? Okay, well, let me sell this and let me make some ground bait just flies okay we we have some flies you have a 24 hook that's gonna be the thing is I think a 16 will work too for frogs uh, I don't know if clockwise is listening in but I know he could tell me for sure I'm sure several other people here would know but I think a 16 would be fine. Uh, we'll have to see if, plus I can always get another telestick. If what size hook for frogs? Okay. We're not gonna sell that frog for 151. Nineteen to twenty-four. Okay, so a sixteen's a little bit too big. Okay. Oh, that frog's only worth one seventeen. I thought it was worth more than that. Well, I guess we will sell it for that. I thought it was going to be at least three or four silver. That means that may not be worth going then. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't. I thought they were a little more expensive than that. But in that case, it's not really worth it. Um.
Yeah, the thing is, I'm not really catching much of anything, so I need to find a good place on Mosquito. Really. Uh, we're not going to be able to afford anything Floro. That's 50 silver. Not to mention we can't even use it anyway. Frogs are quick, yep. By the way, guys... A lot of these have like player requirements on them, but once you can start using carp hooks, that's what you really should switch to uh, for most rigs. Uh, there are a couple fish that don't really respond well, especially ones that require the smaller size. But most of them you're going to be okay. Uh, should we get 5 kg line? I don't know. That's stronger than our rod. That's the only problem that we have right now is our rods are really, really weak. Three and a half would be perfect. But we, we can't even get to that level. Let's buy 2.1. That, that'll work. I don't want to go into telling people to go to uh, VK and trying to figure out that website. It's uh, it, that's a little much for just a straight YouTube video that's got a bunch of other stuff in it. Maybe I'll do an episode by itself on how to navigate VK. Although I'm not very good at it myself. Hopefully we'll have a couple fish over here. Did I turn around? No. Still facing down, yeah. Run all the way back down here. I don't, I, I guess it's the low level. I'm, I'm not used to the bite rates here. Two, three. Oh, we got a decent fish that was here while we were, oh, I got away. I didn't set the hook. Oh my goodness. All right. Lesson of the day, always set the hook when you see that you got a decent fish on. All right, we're going to we're going to have to stop and find something a little more active. You know what I didn't get? Oh, I guess we didn't really have a silver fort. Let me change the line out on this one, too. It's a 
better line. That should help with the bite rate on this one. Hey, roaches. Let's drag that up right next to those lily pads. I probably need to get some smaller hooks if we're going to really go after these bait fish, which is Kind of what we need to do but we also need to work our way up into fluorocarbon and or uh, leaders now it's gonna be a while before we can make our own leaders you can always ask people to do it for you but again i don't suggest asking too much it's all part of the experience you can buy leaders and the, the ones you buy in the store are perfectly fine uh, especially early on they're cheap. They're, they're not going to cost you a whole lot. I was hoping to get up to level 10 today, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I, on I honestly think I know what we should do. I think we need to go on and, and switch over to Winding Rivulet. Uh, whereas Mosquito has a... It's got a spot on it somewhere. Somebody's been doing well. And I don't know if it it's going to require a whole lot of finding to, to get to it. But this just isn't it right now. And if you're having this much trouble catching fish... Ask around, because more than likely, you shouldn't have this much trouble. Now, I know that people have suggested other spots. There's a 9114, which I think, to be completely honest, is around here on the side of the lake. Go right next to the bridge. That's where I was originally, and we were, we were getting okay bites, but we weren't getting much. Maybe with the new baits, it would be better. Uh, I did, I did go on and ask for some baits. Uh, again, I don't really recommend it a whole lot, but you know, it's it's not that bad. There's a down tree somewhere over here. By the way, welcome back, Fishing Angus. How you doing? Um, if you know of a spot that's just active, you say next to the bridge, do you know what kind of bait is active there? Because I'm not getting much. And I realize I'm a low level, so I'm not expecting the world out of it. But I'm expecting to get a fairly consistent bite. This is the camp. Okay, so for YouTube's sake, this is the camp. Uh, you can make, once you level up your cooking, if you want to, you can make smoked fish, you can uh, make shish kebabs and, and steaks, and there's that. Uh, here's the campfire. You have to have wood and matches to start that. Once you do, then you can make all your your normal stuff. If you have uh, here's a fish dryer, so you can make some dried fish. This is you can do from the beginning. Uh, of course, you can't really catch roach. You can do 
It looks disgusting, but I guess it works. You gotta buy salt, right? So, probably not. <laughs> uh, here's the tent. If you if you want to store stuff, right? You can go in here, click on your backpack, and you're like, okay, I'm never gonna use this again, right? This spinning rod. I don't really need it, but I don't want to throw it away right now. I don't know why, but I, I don't like throwing stuff away. So what I can do is move item to tent. Right. And now we're, we're good. Uh, again, if you want to use alcohol in the game, by all means, it does help you. Uh, if you've got a really big fish on, take a swig of it right before you uh, get that last reel in. Uh, I don't use it. It's just a personal preference uh, for kind of RP region reasons. Uh, I'm going to move that to the tent also. Uh, same thing with that. And it if you kind of get that, that's, that's the same reason. All, right. All these spots, like, I'm sure that there's something that's going to bite at a lot of these locations. Some of them look like great locations, and they're not. And some of them look like terrible locations, and they're amazing. Uh... This was a spot a while back for Brim. Uh, is a while back. I don't remember how far back, but I know it was a spot. I don't know if it's still active or not. This is the spot that we've been at it several, several times now. We can see if maybe with the different baits, if they're going to bite better. And with the bigger hooks also, right? How is it impossible to... Oh, we got that one bit. Okay. Chinese sleeper came up. Bit that one. Put it right next to the dock to see if we can get something here. We'll see if we can get a little bit of silver. Uh, if this does start biting, especially on the bottom rods, we'll keep doing that. If not, what we'll do is we'll switch over and we'll go over to winding. Uh, maybe we'll have enough silver to buy us a couple really small hooks and we'll get into the roughies and uh, maybe even a couple white brim. White brim would be a great, great thing if we can managed to do it, but I think we're going to need some leaders. Okay, that was a weird bite that I messed up. Now, as we all know, in real life, that's exactly where, where, where you want your float. Right next to the dock, there's going to be a hundred fish right there. And it wouldn't take this long for him to bite either. I know that from experience. Now we're getting a bunch of bites. This is a very active spot. Maybe with these larger hooks, maybe we can force some bigger, uh, bigger fish out of here. But we kind of need these bigger fish to, to start moving up in the world, right? 400 silver or 400 grams. Wish it was 400 silver. Because the goal right now is to get up to where we can get 100 silver in an hour. But we're nowhere near that right now. Because if we can get even 50 silver in an hour, that's a way to move up. A 100 silver in an hour means you're getting a new, you're getting a Lacerti every hour. 
Uh, again, that's gonna, not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. A nice little crucian. See, the baits obviously helped out a lot. Uh, we haven't changed this. This is still a small size 18 hook. We can go up to a 16 and maybe even do a little bit better. But we'll, we'll see how this ends up going. Hopefully it keeps up. The rain's not helping, I don't think. Uh, there are certain fish that bite better in the rain. Uh, eels, for instance, uh, will bite better. Uh, grayling at times will bite better in the rain. But they don't, neither one of those are here. So, 63 gram, not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. This one's on Semolina, and this one is on Red Worm. That's the two baits that we actually got a little help with. What do we say when we have full energy? Dig. There you go. Four more worms. We need to get this up to... What level do we need? To get to the next thing. Pearl Barley is at 20%. So that just tells you how much stuff, if you're gonna just dig worms, it's gonna take a lot of worms. If you're gonna just make wet bread, you're gonna make a lot of wet bread. If you're gonna make potato cubes, you make a lot of potato cubes. Uh, potatoes are one of the few that you can sit there and go, okay, well, I'm gonna use it anyway. So might as well. I'm gonna go and put another point into bottom rigs. That's gonna help us uh, have a better chance at getting larger bottom rigs also or bottom feeding fish also i'm sure there's most people gonna say don't put points into rigs at this level and i agree it, it, you don't have to this is up to you there are certain ones i wouldn't put any points into uh i don't think you could put anything in cooking uh you might eventually want to start putting some in the ground bait. It's it's a great tool to have. Uh, making lures, don't put any points into it at the at this time. Uh, harvesting bait, don't put any points into this either. It, it's just not worth it. Hey, there's a nice little roughy. If we can get into a bunch of these, that's that's really probably the best thing we could catch. Semolina doesn't seem to be actually catching anything, which is kind of nuts. In that case, what we'll do is we're catching roughies. So what do we need to do? We need to go and put a red worm on. Another nice little crucian carp. And looks like we're getting another bite. Decent fish. Let's go on and set the hook. Remember that's control ship or control right click. Alright. That's exactly the kind of fish that we're wanting to look for right there. 
Tagged Crucian Carp. That's going to give us our best silver per minute at the moment. As you can see, that's 10 silver right there. These, these five, six fish that are tagged. We're getting one, almost two silver per a lot of these. Anything over 600 is going to give us that 1.8, 1.9 silver. Sell all those. Now we got 10. And this is probably not going to be tagged. No, it's 141 grams. Frey has caught 44 fish in an hour and nine minutes. Hey, he's doing better than we are, but, uh, you know, let's see. I don't, I don't think we can do this classic, you know, feeder leaders. That's the ones we want. Uh, 750 for a Floro. Oh, they're out of anything below 10 kilo. That's not good. 13. Yeah, we can't get these uh, better fluorocarbon. This one, if you can catch them, this would have been a great one to add. So, obviously, we can't afford fluorocarbon line. If we could, we'd, that's what we'd be using. Also, we don't have the levels for fluorocarbon, but we could use the fluorocarbon leader, which means you get the, all the benefits of fluorocarbon line with kind of the ex expense of a fluorocarbon uh, with the expense of regular monofilament. And the other option would be to use a monofilament. But let's not go that route for now. Since we can't actually get that, let's just pass it up. Go over here and keep catching fish. Maybe we'll get to a point where we can get the upgraded version, right? Like I said, we always want to focus on the active first, which is right now is our float rig. Now, if we were spin fishing, we're going to focus on it first because the bottom rigs have the auto hooking feature that we discussed earlier. Even if fish bites on it, it's there. It, you don't need to jump over and make sure you get it first thing once they're once they bite they're there see it went slack line there's two options here a you can pick it up and try and nab it real quick which looks like what we could do or you can wait for it to pull tight and really set the hook itself which is going to happen now oh you know what I like it when it does that set the hook we've got us another little decent fish here I don't think it's going to be a trophy uh could be. Remember, you can move around. Let's see if we can force this fish up. Again, we've got these little sparks. It's not going to bother me too much to damage them. Oh, it's a little tinch. Okay. We don't have a landing net. Hey, almost a thousand grams, almost one kilo tinch. That's gonna that's gonna help our silver out a little. Tinch are one of those fish that does bite better in the rain.
Ooh, we might have two back to back. Or is this just a ooh, this is just a big crucian. Come on in. All right, good job. Still not quite a trophy, but it's okay. We're still hunting that first trophy. I like that we're getting better fish now. Better size, anyway. Uh, they're biting on the, the red worms for anybody that is starting out. I can't give them to you, not on this account. All right, now Salty is going to go live here in a couple hours, an hour and a half, I guess. The the league for or this month, I think, starts tonight, right? Uh, some of you guys that are more involved in that could probably tell me. Uh, by the way, if you ever hear anybody here, I'll say this. If you ever hear anybody say something about the Christmas Pier, it's this place. Yep, tonight. Thank you, Whiskey. And Acacia. can't even see my face, but it's really cringing every time that happens. You're just giving me more stuff I gotta cut out of this video. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Let's all have some fun. I don't mind, okay? Unless, unless something big is happening at the moment, then for sure. Have some fun, guys. I, I really think that's most of the basics at this point. Wow, that, that bit really quick. Uh, I guess the only... What are the ground bait? Ground bait's our next topic. We, we do need to get into some basics of ground bait. Another decent fish. This is the reason we go to the size one hooks. If you've noticed, it's not all just the skill rise that's giving us bigger fish. It's also the size of hook. The size of hook is going to help us immensely. Now you can see, whereas we were only getting like one or two per line, now we're getting four per line. that are tagged, by the way. That's what I'm talking about, is tagged fish. And we've got 11 silver. Okay. Let's see. Let's go on and that's another 11 silver. Uh, we sold our most expensive fish, which I didn't even see which one it was. Probably that tench. That one kilo tench. Uh, we said we were going to get... Actually, let's do ground baits. Remember we needed crackers? That's 60 cents. Then we needed... Uh, I want to say it's millet porridge, but let's, let's, let's make sure before we... Before we make some. We want to make some... Crucian and Gibble. This is like the first one you should make. Uh, millet porridge and sunflower oil. That's what we need. Millet porridge and sunflower oil. Uh, additives. Millet porridge. It's only 40 cents. 
Now, if you're going to grind this, obviously you're going to want to buy larger portions. The more more portions you buy at once, the the less silver per thing it is. And if you do if you do want to grind this out, by all means, it's worth getting one or two days of premium. Uh, it, the one or two one or two dollars it is to get a couple days of, of premium. It's worth it if you're going to try and grind this out real quick. It, it helps immensely, but we're not doing that. We're going to go the slow route and this is 90. So nice. So that means we definitely have enough for a couple, uh, not feeders. We could do feeders, but we're not going to right now. Leaders is what we're going to do. Feeder leaders, fluorocarbon. Oh, we can't go to this, that level. Uh, only problem with this is it's so big we could do this one but we can't put it on I need to be level 14 to use this level carbon fiber carbon fiber feed, uh, feeder leader uh, so what else can we do classic leaders that would be for uh, this is for spinning We could do this, uh, the basic feeders. So once we get ground bait, we do this. Uh, matter of fact, we got 20 silver. We could get two of these really, really small ones. Uh, let's go into the travel for your winding. Yeah. Wait a minute. It's no cheaper there, though. Is it? Oh, more is in stock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about it. It. I'll explain that later. I've already explained why it's important, but... Yeah, we've already done that, Chef. Thank you, by the way. Uh, we've already checked the test on the rod. We know that the rods are both 4. Point, it's either 4.4 4.1. Uh, the leader needs to be less than your line, really. Now, our line's 2.1. We can put a 2.1 leader on there. be fine. Uh, you do take a little bit of a chance on losing it all, but I digress. Yeah, we got it. By the way, this is a little thing. They haven't fixed it. Sometimes uh, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. If this is jumping up and down when you're at the store, that means you have a fish on usually. Uh, I'm going to go on and get two of these feeders here. Now, I'll show how that's useful. As you can hear, you can start getting a little bit of uh, sound on it. We've got this thing pulling tight. We've got a big fish on again. Looks like we got another one on, on that slack line on the number two rod and one biting on that float. We need to lower this and then set the hook. This is a decent fish, guys. Hopefully this is another one of those tench or a really, really big crucian. We don't have too much worries right now. Uh, we, Like I said, we can do this where we, we bring the tension up really, really high and try and stop them. But we don't want to go to where it, it's bright red, where it starts a full bar is bad. It means something's going to break within seconds. The red means you got you got danger of it. You can, it can still happen. The fish can turn and and pull. We got a little tinge here. Another eight hundred and ninety-one gram. That's that's great. 
That's going to give us some good silver. I don't know if that, how much that is. Never lock the reel. I'm not going to say never fishing Angus, but for now, don't lock the reel. We got us a little roughy here. It's not tagged. Dad gummit. Ruffies are one of my favorite fish to catch. If uh, if you can ever find a spot where it's just got ruffies, uh, and you've got the right equipment to do it, it usually tele sticks. Uh, with tele sticks, it's it's a lot of fun to catch ruffies. You can make some decent silver per hour. Even at higher levels, uh, I've gotten up to 250 silver an hour. It, it's not the easiest, but you can do it. You get two or three trophies. They're not worth a whole lot on the trophies, but they're they're worth some. Fishing Angus, you wouldn't even do it on cats. I got to tell you, for the first time ever, I started using locked reels. Now, let me let me preface this for anybody listening in the background that's fairly new. On my main account, I have a reel called the Alpha 8000. It is not the best reel, but it has a really high mech strength. It has a 38 kilo mech strength. Uh, I never used it ever before this and it's probably I've probably put a lot more damage on the reel than I needed to letting stuff just run off with it because it's not very strong it's a 14 kilogram drag and I'd have carp that just ran off with it now recently I put much beefier line and much beefier leaders on it and going carp fishing, I'll start locking the reel. Now, locking the reel, what it does, it stops. It won't drag any at all. So if it's too strong, it will break everything. It, what, whatever the weakest point is, it will break there. That's why you want to have your leaders be your weakest point so you lose the least amount of gear. It was, it was sitting there, it, was, it would go off and 100% it was just like, oh yeah, I'm just really, really, and I hit the, I locked it and I was like, oh wow, it's not breaking, you know, it's not filling up the bar. And I reeled it in. On that fish, the first time I did it, uh, I just didn't have time and I was just like, okay, either I break the, break the leader or I get a decent fish, right? Well, on that particular fish, it ended up being a trophy common. And I reeled it all the way in on a locked reel. So it, again, people will bad mouth the alpha all they want, but if you can lock the reel and just reel straight in on a, on a trophy common, that's good. Chef D711. I think I've already said welcome, but if not, welcome to the my stream. Uh, you're saying uh, bar indicates damage on your rig components. Uh, green is 1x. Uh, yellow is 2x. Red is 4x faster. Um, I don't... I don't want to say you're wrong, because it might be. Uh, I know with the smaller equipment, you don't really have that much damage, even in the heaviest of reds. So I don't want to say you're wrong, but I've also not really seen that to be true. 
Now on the reel, if your reel is your weak point, then yes, your drag absolutely will get eaten up a, a lot. So maybe it's just damage on your weakest component. I don't know. It's another tinch. It is another tinch. Whoa, 1.2 kilo tinch. Got a pretty good amount of experience. It gets a level nine. We may not reach level 10 today, but we're we're moving along. We're going to recast this one. Okay, so it, it only counts the, maybe not only, but it mainly affects the weakest component. Ooh, this is a decent one on the float rig, on our telescopic. Oh, it's another tinch. Okay. Somehow or another, we're starting to get tinch right here, and I did not expect that. I guess red worms are for tinch now. Who knew? Maybe if I had some night crawlers, I'd be getting trophy tinch. Who knows? Probably if I had night crawlers. Uh, I'd probably be getting trophy or more towards the trophy size gibbles and crucians and tench. But to be honest, guys, this is the most active spot we found. Uh, I do know on winding, there's a couple spots. That's the reason we were thinking about moving. There's a nice little crucian. I'm not really a big fan of uh, using the small hooks like this. Hey, there's level nine. Again, make sure you say thanks to people when people are being nice to you. Uh, I'm not going to say, like, this should be common common knowledge and all. You would think I wouldn't need to say this, but in all reality, I see it more times than not that people don't know how to have some common decency, you know? So I'm trying to reinforce this. Uh, this is just gamer etiquette. When people say nice things to you, make sure you say nice things back say thank you say you know uh, it's a it's a pleasure blah you know all that kind of stuff a little tinch okay oh it's still on okay that chinese sleeper really wanted it 246 grams that's a nice little chinese sleeper another fish that if we had a, uh, if we had night crawlers, we'd probably be killing it right now. But as you can see, we were getting one or two tags per line. Now we're getting, we've got five on this top line. And as it goes down, hopefully it'll be, you know, staying the same. Wow. Hey, me panda. Thank you for the follow, bud. I really do appreciate it. I did buy the feeder and I got the whiskey. <laughs> I bought all that stuff and I just got excited because we were actually catching fish. So 
This is actually why we bought all that stuff. If we go to ground bait, we're gonna start with the ground baits. We're gonna get only one mixture for now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grind it away here. But uh oh that's new. They they auto fill it. Okay. So you have to get all the components of it. Then just hit make. All right, we got 0.2% to our making ground bait. It's a quality one out of 10, so it's not very good. But that being said, oh, and by the way, when you buy attractants, it comes five, uh, five pieces. So you can get five of these and five of these for every one of these. All right, and then we're gonna throw this back out because Joe is not the best. Hey, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. By the way, guys, now that there's a few of you in here, I do want to ask, guys, if you do enjoy the content, it's not just this game that I, I stream. I stream other games. And I would really appreciate it if you come and check it out. Uh, if it's not your game, that's fine. But I really like you to come in and say hi and maybe check it out. Uh, in my community Discord, uh, if you have the game Eco, let me know. I really want to get a multiplayer game on that going for the community. If you don't have it, look at... Uh, maybe we'll do a, a stream one day... Uh, I don't know what we're going to replace, but one of the, one day we'll replace it and we'll try and play it together and see if anybody wants to buy it. And if they do that, you know, anybody that follows this channel will have free access to my world, my Nico. It's a really fun game and I'm really hoping to get a few people in it. It's new. It's still, I think it's still in beta, which I mean, technically, this game is in beta after four or five years now. I gotta stop catching this fish <laughs> so I can so I can show what we were actually trying to do with the feeders. It's called Eco E C O. Uh, it's kind of similar to Minecraft, but it has uh, quite a bit more like real world application to it uh you start off on an empty planet basically and you build up you go through all the epochs of of civilization you you build houses you know you tear down trees you flatten land you uh dig up ores you do all that and eventually you get to a point where you're like okay now i need to get industry going and as you get industry you start getting the negative sides of everything, like uh, pollution, you know, air pollution, uh, all this kind of stuff that you got to kind of learn to adapt. <laughs> what talents do I think you possess or like? Acacia, I'm as much as I'd love to answer that question for you. I don't know if I'm the person to ask. Also, um, Panda, if you uh, if you enjoy Minecraft, Mondays I stream Minecraft uh, from one to four local Central Standard Time. Uh, if you're in the UK, it will be plus six hours. So it'll be like seven to ten. All right, this is. This is the last fish I'm going to pull in before I actually do what I said I was going to do. Here you go. I'm going to reel this in real quick. Reel, reel. Get it? So, right here we have a sinker. Alright, buddy. I really do appreciate it. I know that there's some other streamers, bigger streamers on at that time for RF4. And if you... If you do want to get in there, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not feel bad, you know. I understand that I'm going into new games, knowing that I'm gonna lose some viewers during that time, right? 
Uh, so guys, what you're doing is you're changing out the sinker and you're gonna put this feeder in. These feeders that we just bought, they hold one portion of the ground bait that we just made. Okay, so you go in here, you find your ground bait. And granted, this isn't good quality. We probably should make some more, but uh, one out of 10 is still better than nothing. Uh, I do know that last time I spoke to one of the devs, one out of 10 is still better than no ground bait for attracting fish. Again, we don't have a leader still. Uh, we couldn't get, we couldn't get it. So instead of going back and forth to winding, uh, looking for it, we're just going to use it like this. And what that does is that puts your bait close. You can throw it out. You can take uh, here before I, before I do that, you can go in press U. You can click on this and you can throw it. You can hold your left mouse button and guess how much percentage of a throw it takes to get to how far you have your baits out. I'm not gonna do that. It wastes a lot of bait or a lot, wastes a lot of ground bait. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it literally within what? 30 centimeters of where our bait is. And the thing is, just because it's Gibble Crucian does not mean that that's the only thing that will bite on it. We're going to change both of these out. Now, ooh, we had a Ruffy on here. Nice, Ruffy. <laughs> Size one hook on a Ruffy. All right, we're going to put this cage on it. Put another ground bait. You can overfeed. Ground bait's one of those things that... Uh, if you do it too much, like we could sit here and throw it out and all that. If you do too much, it will actually make the fish leave. The I don't know the exact number where overfeeding occurs. And I think for different fish, it happens at different levels or different numbers. But in general, the rule of thumb, if you don't mind the expression, is 10. The maximum you want to throw out at one time is 10. Uh, now, each one of these, we'll, we'll go look at it because there are a couple statistics on this, right? Go to information, pinch like three throws. Uh, that might be true. Uh, we got the stuff jumping, so we probably got something biting. Uh, you see the components. If you want to make custom ground bait, you can. You can do that. We'll show that later. Uh, this shows your quality. This shows how many you have left and your mass. So it, you know, I think that's all 28 of them. So they're 10 grams a piece, right? Uh, and duration, that's how long that ground bait will be active. Frankie, how you doing? Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a, a while. I would say a coon's age, but people don't tend to like that much. I don't know. It's a very common Southern phrase, so I don't know. Maybe there's not that many Southern people here. <laughs> All right. I think that number two rod actually is going a little bit slack. And it is. So what do we have on here? It's it's small. It's a, it's another roughie. Now, I'm never going to complain about catching roughies. Now, on a size one hook, we're hoping to get something a little bit bigger. But this is what I want to catch ruffies on. And this is not a ruffie. Nice little tench. Again, 
at night, if you're if you're having trouble seeing, make sure you still turn that flashlight on. You got it in the tutorial. It's it's really simple. You press F, and now you can see stuff. If you want to know one of the little nuances that I don't like, as a as somebody that's an engineer in the background and, and does some like coding, if you're on one side, you can't see the line. I don't know why they have this directional lighting to where uh, entities only have one side that the light can bounce off of, but this is a coding, coding issue that has been in the game since the very beginning. If you're looking one way, you can see the line, it reflects highly. If you're on the other side, you can't see nothing. So if you can't see it, just move it to the other side. Once you buy, there's a little light you can buy that sets on the ground. You always want to put that on the side that actually has the reflection. That way you can see the line bouncing. Uh, if you're catching a fish. Uh, thank you, Frankie. I, I really do appreciate it. I'm uh, this will be going up on YouTube for anybody in the in the chat right now that is interested in seeing it later or want to refer to it uh, for their friends that might be joining uh, in the future. I will be having this on YouTube. I'm going to try and have it the first episode up on Saturday. Uh, hopefully going up by noon a 250 gram chinese sleeper is going to be nice for us yes it is a standalone uh i didn't go over account creation on this uh it's, it's fairly straightforward but yes they're all standalone accounts uh now uh you can do steam we almost have 10 yeah and then people leave <laughs> Acacia, I I don't look at it that, like that. If, if I got one or two, that's great. If I got 10 or 15, that's great. I've had as many as 80 viewers at once, believe it or not. Uh, I know it was a while back and all, but uh, I've had several times where I've had a lot of viewers. There's a nice little common roach. I'd love to catch some more of those. Like I said, we're right here next to the market. So let's go on and take a look. Uh, we only got two of the perch. That's fine. Uh, we don't have any big gibbles. Ruffies. Uh, we got three right now. So we definitely need to get us a couple more ruffies. Might need to change that hook size. That would be a good payday. Five little ruffies makes 35 silver. That will make for for this account. I mean, you gotta remember how little we're making per hour. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Dad gum it. I need to hurry up. <laughs> if you remember right, the the rig that we're using is a basic bottom rig. Yeah, like I said, I was really hoping to get to level 10 today. I kind of expected after about an hour that it wasn't going to happen. Uh, but I don't think 10, we open up a new lake, do we? No, it's 12. So next time, that's going to be our focus. We're going to try and get to 12. I think we're going to continue this next week. Because I really want to get to at least Old Berg before ending this quote unquote tutorial, right? Uh, it just makes sense. You know, there's a lot of things at Old Berg that are very different from either one of these. Now, one day we'll get to where I do a tutorial on different. What the heck? I almost snapped that line off. This is a good sized fish. Hopefully, hopefully this is a crucian. And hopefully it's a big crucian. You know how much I, I don't think it's a trophy. It'd be really nice if it was, but uh, do you know how weird it would be for me to get a trophy before I'm level 10? I still struggle for trophies on, on my level 35 account. I think I got 70 total
Am I going to walk it? What do you mean? I mean, am I, am I going to walk down the, the bank to get it? No. He's still pulling away. Oh, by the way, there's a down here. This is another little tidbit to add. Down here is your spool. Okay. Uh, now, if you fill up your spool, this will be completely full one, when it's completely reeled in. We didn't put all of it because on this, this is the one with the 3000 series spark. So it only goes down to about, I guess, half. But this will tell you if you get down to very, you know, on the end of it, it'll start lighting up yellow and then red. If you start doing that, that means you're about to run out of line. Now, if you run completely out of line, your strength is going to be whatever your mech strength of that particular reel that you're using is. Okay, it's a little tinch. Which is nice still. Remember, we wanted, we really like to get a couple more ruffies, to be honest. Uh, let me see if I can... The problem with ruffies is you really need to have some fluorocarbon leaders. Or fluorocarbon line, actually, would be better. And obviously that that's not available to us at the moment. Uh, you got some trophy left next to the boat. You know, we went over here last time and we didn't really catch anything at all. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done, but uh, we I didn't have any luck with it. Uh, this is what everybody's saying. It's the place to be. And I just haven't been doing well at it. It's just me, my RNG. We're gonna sell these fish. I've got to. I've got to call it a day. I've got to go feed my son, or else he's gonna end up having a sore stomach at uh, practice tonight. That's thirty-two silver, and the difference in using those bigger hooks, the better line, and the better bait, has led to this. Uh, as you can tell, there's a couple of them where we have a stretch of. Uh, only only two tags, but most of these have four or five tags per line, which is exactly what we want. We want to have as many tags as possible. Sell this 32 silver. I didn't look to see which one was the most expensive or anything like that, but uh, we'll look at that real quick and oh, now I, of course I look over here and walk away. We got one biting. I heard that. The tinch, yeah, the tinch was probably it. I, I don't think any of those ruffies were very close to a trophy, so it, that, that would be the only other option. Now, when once you get up to having uh, fluorocarbon on your telesticks and stuff like that. You can catch trophies on a on a two kilo uh, fluorocarbon line. Go to winding. You can get gudgeon trophies. You can get uh, ruffy trophies. You can get bleak trophies, dace trophies. All these are really small, and they pay decent money per. Now, Dace is probably the cheapest, I think. Uh, Bleak is right behind it. Uh, Gudgeon and Ruffies, I think, pay the most. If you can get into them, they're great money. Uh, there's also the little muscles and stuff like that. All these are on the small end. You're not going anything big still. But these are all options you can do either on a Telestick or a Bottom Rig. Except bleak. I don't. I don't know if you can get bleak. Uh, one out of ten ground bait is obviously not bringing in the big numbers of fish. It's fairly disappointing. But like I said, realistically, 
the first thing you want to do when you do that kind of stuff is make several. Now, that's probably what we're going to do next time. We're going to start off with making a little bit. Matter of fact, we're going to add a little bit to this ground bait here. That way we don't get any more ones. Maybe we can get, you know, three or four is the, the base level. But hopefully we can get some eights and nines. Uh, eight or nine uh, out of ten works just fine. Uh, the different qualities will affect uh, how well it attracts fish and it also affects how long it sits there. Now there's cer certain additives you can add to a custom mix to make it last longer. But again, that's in more of an advanced thing. That'll be another tutorial all by itself. Ground bait making. I'm not the best at it. I will get somebody in here that knows a lot more about it than I do. Uh, a lot more experienced players are here right now even in the chat so like i said guys i really do appreciate it uh, i'm so glad that you guys stopped in to help me out with this tutorial i think it's needed in the community uh i'm gonna try and have this thing up by this weekend i'm gonna start getting the first episode up and i don't know if it's gonna be just a couple episodes or if it's gonna be several like six or seven episodes by the end of this one but uh we're gonna do our best to stretch it out into something that's a little more enjoyable uh we didn't catch anything new All right, we're gonna go on and close this out i'm gonna jump over to big joe view all right <laughs> i probably just scared the crap out of half of you uh we're gonna pause the music sincerely guys thank you for everything thanks for the follow uh me panda thank you for the follow tomorrow we will be doing football manager so if you if you like football uh soccer for us you know normal american people uh check it out i i, I like to do it it's a really fun game Acacia, I, I will. And I'm already sitting back, all right? I'm not even leaning in. This is probably confusing you, but I'm not leaning in. If I'm leaning in, I'm doing this. But, uh. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> uh. Yeah. If you like football. Tomorrow, it's going to be Football Manager. Big Joe Nobody FC. It's in the Conference South. We're trying to work our way up into promotion. Uh, I really do enjoy it. It has a lot of uh, a lot of numbers and, and analysis and tactics and everything to do. And that's what I enjoy the most about football games. Uh, I'm going to... We're going to go on and set up a raid right now. We're going to raid one of our friends, either Blue Tag or or the... The pirate nation, whatever they call themselves, you know, the filthy pirates. You know. <laughs> I see whiskey is actually streaming right now. Uh he's doing well on viewers. Let's let's see if anybody else is kind of low. Uh not to not to keep it away from whiskey, but I just see if we can help somebody else on the lower end. I don't know if any of these other Crossy. Yeah, but Crossy's doing it even better than Mr. Whiskey. I think we're gonna raid Mr. Whiskey Ace. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are already in his stream. Make sure to drop him a follow when you get there. Yeah. I whiskey, we're gonna we're gonna Come to your channel, even though you don't know how to spell whiskey. <laughs> I'm somebody that doesn't drink, and I'm just making fun of you. All right, I'm 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 sorry. Make sure to drop that follow on him. Uh, guys, I will be here tomorrow from 1 to 4. That will be 7 to 10 for all you English people out there. Scotsman? All right, well, it's EY. 
whiskey. <laughs> or kills. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I do not know why it blocks that. It still does. It's hilarious. His name is not allowed in Twitch. Guys, I'm out. Tight lines, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.